This video is going to show you guys how to use the NC Viewer. First off, you need to have your program done, or at least partially done. Uh, NC Viewer is actually a good place to build it, so you can see the changes that you're making. Um, but you need to have some part of a program done, even if it's only the beginning block here. First thing we need to do is go ahead and open up a new tab and just Google search NC uh, Viewer. Uh, if you spell it even close, it's the first thing that pops up, ncviewer.com. Go ahead and open that up. And you're going to see kind of this CAD environment and then all this stuff on the left. Um, you can read this stuff for updates, but I don't read it. I just click on this new file up on the top left, and I get myself a blank screen here. Then what I can do is do a really, really simple copy and paste. I'm going to copy everything out of my um, working file over here and paste it. I use the control V, control C, control V method usually, but you could right click, uh, I believe, too. Once you've pasted this in here, you come down here to this blue button uh, that says plot. And that is going to show you everything that you've written in code. Now, just like in CAD, I can use my mouse, the roller in my mouse to zoom in and out. But what's a little bit different than Autodesk is uh, if I hold down the left button, it pans the screen. And if I hold down the right button on my mouse, I get like the orbit. All right. And now it does have very similar to a view cube thing up here on the top right. Um, so if I'm doing, say, like a two dimensional operation, I probably want to view it from above. But there are times where I want to see that 3D effect. So I want to look at it from like an isometric view, kind of that corner view. Sometimes I can pan down and see what's going on here. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is while we're used to just seeing the two-dimensional version, um, panning to the side lets me see the, the Z, right? The Z is essentially the up and down, the um, third dimension that makes it above or below um, our two-dimensional paper that we would otherwise be drawing on. So keep in mind that, you know, while it's very important to have the correct path on your X's and Y's, your Z's are also very, very important, especially when we're um, planning out our cutting operations. As you can see over here on the left um, is where I go down for my project number one, and then I come up at the end. There are times like if you were doing letters, you would have to go um, down to cut a letter, then come up, go to the next letter, go down again. So just keep in mind your Z's um, need to be very realistic in how you approach them. All right. That's a, a pretty simple way to use NC Viewer. And if there was, if I was still working on this and it wasn't completed, I can go in here, make changes, and click plot and replot everything. And one thing I do want to show you is if I leave a space between my x or y and the value it kind of goes nuts it doesn't like that so make sure there's no spaces between your x y or z and the value that you're inputting all right then one of the really nice things is wherever i put my line it shows me this little dot right here of where my uh, where this is in the code and where my bit would be and that's a pretty good overview of NC Viewer. If you have any questions, as always, let me know.